Hello guys, good afternoon. Welcome to my YouTube channel, JBE Travel Blog Agri Edition. In this afternoon, we will going to analyze a soil sample using this soil test kit from the DE or the Department of Agriculture. This tool is a quick method of evaluating soil fertility status of our soil. Guys, uh, ito pala yung ginagamit nating uh, soil test kit galing sa Department of Agriculture Regional Field Office Unit Number 8, Tacloban City. Dito, may laman itong mga solusyon. Ito na yung mga solusyon natin. Marami dyan, may test tube, may, may tin fuel na ginagamit sa uh, phosphorus analysis test. And then we have this soil analysis and fertilizer uses. May booklet pala sa kanila. Dito nakalagay yung mga paano gamitin yung soil test kit natin. Ang mga proper soil sampling. At saka may fertilizer recommendation din. Yung mga inalayas natin ng mga lupa ay nandito. Ano bang crops na gusto mong i-recommendar? Nandito na. Hmm. Kompleto na to. Eh. Ito na yung mga indicator niya. Oh. Dito. My soil pH indicator. Kung anong, kung high ba siya or low soil pH ba. Ito rin mga nitrogen test. Phosphorus test. At saka potassium test. Ang una natin gagawin ngayon ay ang pag-analyze ng lupa through soil pH. Uh, ito na po yun. Mayroon tayong test tube. Lalagyan natin ng lupa to. Soil sample. At ito na po. Kahit ganito lang yung soil sample natin ay pwede na itong i-analyze natin. Lagyan natin ng 12 drops of CPR indicator dye. Ito pala yung CPR. Ang meaning nito ay chlorophenol red. Ito ay nagsisilbing pH indicator dye to measure our soil pH. Ito na po. Lalagyan natin ng 12 drops. 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 11, 12. Uh, we mix it gently by swirling it 20 times. 1, 2, 3. 3 times for 22 minutes. Okay. Magpaabot ko 22 minutes niya. Repeat step 3. After about 2 minutes, a little bit that is tube. Stand for it. Okay. After 5 minutes of standby, our conclusion here is the soil pH of our sample is about 5.8. Nandito naman tayo sa pangalawa nating soil analysis. Ito yung tinatawag na soil nitrogen test. Again, this is our test tube. This is for our uh, soil nitrogen test. We put some soil here and then we add solution in for about 24 drops or equivalent to 1 ml of solution in. Okay. 30 times gently swirling let's stand it for about 30 minutes naka stand by po ito ng about 30 minutos so let's match it with the soil nitrogen test indicator match this our conclusion here is our soil nitrogen for the soil sample is medium. So it means that our soil is normal lang yung nitrogen sa, uh, content ng kanyang lupa. Okay, nandito na tayo sa pangatlo nating soil test. Ito po yung soil of phosphorus test. Again, we have the test tube here. We put some soil here. And then ito na po, dito nakasaad na we put 24 drops of solution P. Ito na po yung solution P. 
we put the 24 drops of this solution pig into this test tube. Okay. And then, 4 drops of solution P1. Ito na po yung solution P1 natin. 4 drops only. We mix it by gently swirling the tube for about 1 minute. And then, repeat step 3 after about 3 minutes and let the test tube stand for 5 minutes. So, okay. Ako kuha tayo ng 1 foil or 10 strip. And then, we wrap it firmly with a 1 end. Sige. We wrap it firmly with a 1 end. Ito na po. I-stir natin. Without... Uh, disturbing the soil. Ito na po yung uh, procedure na ito. Madidetermine natin yung, yung soil, phosphorus natin. This is for about 1 minute. Another 2 minutes. Tapos na tayo sa phosphorus natin yung pagbimix. At we match this uh, color for this uh, indicator soil phosphorus test. Ito na po yun. Titingnan natin kung saan siya namamats. The phosphorus content is high. Okay mga kagre. Andito na po tayo sa pinakalas nating test. So well, potassium test. Again, uh, this is our test tube. We put some so well here. We add 24 drops of solution potassium. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six. And 8 drums of solution K1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We mix it for about 1 minute. Repeat step 3 after 3 minutes. And let's stand for a minute. 3 minutes again. <laughs> and then let's stand it for about 5 minutes. Ito ko lang pasalamatan yung nagbibigay sa atin ng... Uh, electric pan kasi maaliwalas dito eh at saka yung videographer pala natin si Bendek Omega maraming salamat po and then sa lahat ng mga nanood rin sa atin mga taga subaybay huwag kalimutang mag like comment and then subscribe our youtube channel GBA Travel Brand shout out nga pala kay uh, Arthur Abrantes of Hilongos Lite and then for Mark Atanasio na nagtatrabaho ngayon sa Fell Road Crafts Visca Bye Bye Lite Shout out naman kay Mariel Laguno na pamangkin ko na nasa Tanay Rizal ngayon Shout out naman kay Abay Ikeo TV ng Hinunangan Southern Lite We put some solution keto here from our manual we slowly add 12 drops of solution keto, one drop at a time. Do not make or shake the solution. Pabayaan lang natin to for about 2 minutes. Again, nakasaad ito na a distinct cloudy yellowish layer indicates that the soil has sufficient available potassium. There is no need to apply potassium fertilizer. If no distinct cloudy yellowish layer appears on top of the orange solution, the soil is deficient in available potassium. So, refer to the table of fertilizer recommendations for different crops. Mayroon naman tayong green book dito. Makikita nyo dito na may distinguish, distinguish cloudy color. Ito ay para tandaan na yung soil na kinukulektahan natin ay maraming potassium. So, no need to apply more potassium content of fertilizer. So, ito palang soil sample natin kay uh, Rene Gaputan o Barangay Karnaga, St. Bernard, Southern Leyte. Hi, Sihal. Okay, guys. Here is the soil sample result. The name of rice farmer is Rene Gaputan. The farm location is Barangay Karnaga, St. Bernard, Southern Leyte. Rice area is 0.5 hectare. Topography is flat. 
and our soil test kit result is the soil pH is 5.8 the soil nitrogen is medium the soil phosphorus is high and the soil potassium is high this is our conclusion and general recommendation this is based from the result of our soil test kit result uh, the soil pH is normal or neutral no need to apply liming materials uh, maintain the normal standard application of fertilizer apply additional amount of nitrogen containing fertilizer since our soil test kit result the nitrogen is medium no need to add more phosphorus and potassium containing fertilizer since our soil test kit of potassium and phosphorus is high that's all thank you